truck with a cross-country cargo of bad news made a local stop today. With 320,000 jobs lost since last fall, the national unemployment clock is ticking too fast for many. And as Casey Colby reports, the people watching the clock say there's no stopping it anytime soon. It's, it's, it's a good thing to preserve our... It's a clock that doesn't uh, tell time, jobs. but tells a lot about the times we're living in. This is the national unemployment clock. Uh, currently, uh, a Canadian becomes unemployed every 34.9 seconds. The numbers are constantly updating, based on Statistics Canada's jobless figures. Tom Stringham is making his way across the country, showing how quickly Canadians are losing their jobs and asking people to sign a petition to help keep jobs in Canada. I've been standing here watching this clock for the last two minutes, and in that time span, three Canadians have lost their jobs. Today, I put faces to those numbers. Cindy Dignam lost her job in the automotive industry a few months ago, but she's still working hard trying to find another job as a sales consultant. Looking for a new job, and especially in these difficult times, is a full-time job in itself. And it's a huge learning curve when you've been gainfully employed for your entire lifetime. Cindy is updating her resume and taking classes at the Northern Lights Employment Resource Center. Andy Holligan is doing the same. He's a printer and worked for the same company for 29 years, then got a layoff notice just before Christmas. Guys are doing my job, the same job that I'm doing for one third of the pay. And that's, that hurts the most. And he's looking for a career change a new job in the trades, but it's not easy. Andy is self-taught. A few feet away, skilled tradesman Andrew Brond is also looking for work. He spent 25 years on construction sites. Most of the construction work that is available is non-union. Andrew is a union member and continues to pay his dues, but he is tempted now to work at a lower paying non-union job site. If you're not employed, with a union position and you have to pay the bills and, and, and take care of your family uh, yes it is tempting back at the national unemployment clock the numbers continue to grow from here the national unemployment clock moves on to Sudbury North Bay and then Sault Ste. Marie eventually ending up in Vancouver on June 10th where they'll present their petition to the Labour Minister and Prime Minister Stephen Harper in Barrie Casey Colby A News it's time for First Check on the Forecast with Bob McIntyre. The winds have died down tonight.